Hi there. Oh, welcome to Sponge and Stamp with Tina. Facebook Live coming to you from a very, very hot middle Georgia today. So I am excited to show you guys and share with you a fun fold card. And I hope that you're excited to be here with us. Um, it's going to be so much fun. And I think you're going to really love this card. And stay to the end because I have two super pretty samples to show you of different ways that you can um, decorate this fun fold card. So hopefully, let's see, we're going to um, give some time for some folks to get on here. And let's see, what do I have to, you know, I guess I could go ahead and flip through the screen and do the um, some of the things like here we go so most of you guys know already that the bonus days are happening this month um, so with every $50 that you spend you get a $5 uh, bonus coupon that you get to redeem in August on any size order you can redeem your $5 coupon there's no limits on how many coupons you can get and there's no limit on how many coupons you can can use on a particular order so in August so with again with every $50 you get a $5 off coupon so it's kind of like cash back and Stampin' Up! will email will email that to you so don't throw it away, don't delete it, take a picture of it, write it down, something, save that code because um, Stampin' Up! doesn't have a way to keep track with them. So if it's, if you lose it, it's gone. All right, let's see here. Let's go to this one right here. So this is my evening July card class on Thursday the 20th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is here locally it's an in-person class so if you live in the Byron Georgia area um, or middle Georgia area period uh, Macon, Warner Robins, Perry, Kathleen, Bonaire, uh, Lizella you know just anywhere in the area we would love to have you join us so the class in the late morning card class is Friday the 21st at 11 a.m. and the class is free with a minimum purchase of $25 or more, or you can just pay the class fee of $20. Hey, Carol, I'm so glad to see you on here. It's been a while, or how they say, it, it's been a minute. <laughs> so let's see, um, we make six cards, three each of, I'm sorry, two each of three designs with envelopes. You want to bring your favorite adhesive. Um, if it's, uh, let's see, and also, Going on right now in my in-person classes, if you spend $50 or more, you get to choose one of my retired products, which you see behind me in all these boxes. Um, I put those out for my classes. And this month, if you spend $50 or more, you get to pick something free from there. Plus, you get a $5 coupon from Stampin' Up. So that's a win-win, don't you think? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Please RSVP by July 19th because I do cut and prepare each kit for each class. Okay, let's go. I know it's been a minute. It's been a long time. It's been a really long time. I'm so happy to see you on here. So this is uh, Don't Miss a Thing. Find out about all our classes, Facebook Lives and Special Events. Also stay up to date with all things Stampin' Up. I forgot to add on there by joining, by signing up for my free newsletters. So I have a link in the description to sign up um, to get my free newsletters. I send my monthly newsletters and then I send updates. Sometimes it's every week, sometimes, you know, it always depends a lot on what's happening, what Stampin' Up! does, because sometimes they even surprise us demonstrators and throw something in there that uh, we're like, oh, we didn't know this was coming, so we might have just sent you an email about something. Now get turned around and send you another one. But I know that you don't mind because you don't want to miss any good deals or anything that's going on, anything fun or exciting, because I sure don't want to miss nothing like that. Okay, 
So online exclusives. These online exclusives were dropped to the public July 6th or 7th. I think it was the 6th. Um, the truck, as so many people have um, speculated, that it would go on back order, and it has. Last time I checked, which was earlier today, I believe it said it would be back in on July. Let me just look. Oh, nope, I can't look because I logged out of that. Okay. I think it's the 17th. July 17th, it will be back in stock. So... Let's see. So that's that. This is the host code um, for now. It is 4RXFGUE3. Please use this host code with any online orders um, that is under $150 before tax and shipping. My foot hit something and I'm like, what was that? Um, yes, before tax and shipping, please use the host code. If your order is $150 or more, please do not use the host code. I'd like for you to keep those host rewards for your sales. Okay, so I think that's it. So I think that I can come back over here. Yay, there we are. So I don't know where everybody is tonight, but we're just going to move on along. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera down and get started. So let me see if I can remember how to do this because it's in a while. All right. There we go. Okay. We are ready. We are ready, 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 ready to go. All right. So the card I'm going to show you, I took a sip of water right before we went, not water, my drink. It's actually soda. Um, right before we went live. <laughs> and I got a drop on here. So you can see what I did. That's okay. That'll be an easy fix. And I'll fix that later. Um, this is the card that we're going to do. So it is called the Faux Step Tint Card, I believe. And I was inspired by, um, oh, I can think of her last name. Campfield is her last name. Totally forgot her first name. And I know I wrote it down on a piece of paper or something else. And I can't. Oh, well, Susan Canfield, that's it. I knew it would come back to me. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. So we're going to learn how to make this tonight. So I've got, I'm going to put this up over here. So I've got, um, this is Fresh Freesia. It's four and a quarter by what, 11? 11, yeah, by 11. And then I've got a couple of pieces of white cardstock here, basic white. Um, what happened to, well, there's no way for you to know what happened to them. Maybe these are them. I had my strips of, um, designer series paper. I think these are them. Yeah, these two are them. So we have two strips of designer series paper, but we are missing something. So we're going to have to cut it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I figured something like that was going to happen. You know, it always does. And it's okay. <laughs> it really is. So we're going to bring in my trimmer here. We need a piece that is also cut at um, two and a half by eight and a half. So I'm going to turn my paper in, um, what is this, landscape mode here. Because I know that this side is already eight and a half inches. So I'm going to trim it down to two and a half. Right about to there, we're going to slice that, and then we're going to score it at three inches. I'm going to move this blade right out of my way so that I don't accidentally cut my paper because I've done that a lot of times, actually. Okay, so that's scored at three inches. Then we need to bring back in this piece here. This again is four and a quarter by 11. We need to score it at one inch. So I'm going to score it at my one inch. This is one of the things that I absolutely love about this paper trimmer is you can score your smaller, your lower um, numbers, inches over here, like your like a quarter inch, 
half an inch, three quarter inch, an inch, inch and a half. That way you have more ground for your paper to lay on, which it makes it easier. At least for me it does. So we're going to cut this, or not cut it, we're going to score it at one inch. Now I'm going to flip it around because I've got a, a couple more places to score at. So we're going to score this at two inches now. So I'm going to line that up at two inches. And I am... You guys know I went and I got glasses. Hey, Lynette. Um, glasses. I got glasses like a month or two ago. I don't even know. It might even be longer than that because time just flies by. And I have no idea <laughs> where it goes to. But anyway, so I thought the glasses would be easier for me to see. And they're actually, they're driving me nuts. And I absolutely hate them. I hate them. Um so, but with insurance, you know, they only let you get one pair a year. So I have to wait a um, couple more months, I guess, to get my contacts. And I cannot wait. I am so looking forward to that. These glasses really agitate my face and they keep slipping down my nose. And I don't see as well through them as I thought I was going to. So it all just drives me crazy. But it's nothing but a thing, and I'm thankful to the Lord that I have eyes to see. So, <laughs> all right, where were we? So now we've got a piece of, um, and I don't know which one is which one, but they're both about the same size. So I, let me take our ruler here. Um, I don't think it's this one. I think this is the one that I wanted for stamping and punching. So this one should be... Um, Oh, I didn't write it down. Darn it. I think it's four and a quarter by four and a half is what it should be. Or four. That's not exactly right either. Four by um, four and a quarter. Let me see something here. Um, where's that card? Oh, you like that hand movement? That, did, I, did I freak you out there? I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so it is four and a quarter by four is what we need. So that was the right one. Four and a quarter by four. Okay, this is the right one, correct? Let me double check again. Yeah. All right, so that is going to be our inside piece. And before I go any further and confuse you guys anymore, let's go ahead and fold our card. So we're going to make a mounted bolt. So we're going to fold back so that it looks like that. And I'm going to get my bone folder here. I'm trying not to ruin my nails any more than they already are. My nails are stained from ink. And my thumbnail started curving in because I was using it to to um, as a bone folder. I'm trying not to do that anymore. Okay, so then we're going to fold up at this, if you can see it, at this top, at the two-inch fold line. We're going to fold up. So what we're doing is we're making the step part of the card. And then we're going to fold down. And then we're going to burnish that or take our bone folder to it or give it a nice crisp fold. Oh, this is Fresh Freesia. I absolutely love this this color it is so so pretty <laughs> all right so then we've got that so that's the base of our card so it sits see if you can see how it sits so it will sit like that so you got your step part and then this is gonna make your your faux tent part of it so we're gonna fold that back at that score line and we're going to give that a nice little fold. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this over the whole top of your base of your card. I keep trying to go over here because that's just where it's comfortable for me. But my camera is actually over here. So I'm so sorry. And sometimes I know I pull things up to my face so I can see what I'm doing. And then it goes out of camera. I'm really sorry, you guys. I wish there was like a... What do you call it, like a bong button or something where you guys can bong me every time? 
might do that. Let's see. Here we go. So you're going to glue it down, center it. I'm just going to eyeball it. If you're really picky about things being centered, you can always mark it with a pencil, but I'm not. So we're going to go just like that. I'm going to take, I'm going to, you can use tear and tape or your liquid glue. You want something really strong. Your um, Seal Plus would probably be strong enough. But I like my liquid glue because, you know, you guys know, it gives me what? Wiggle room. Okay. Most of the time it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I fool around and um, don't get it in place fast enough. All right. However, the downside to it is that it can tend to be a little messy. So you kind of have to just be careful. I'm going to pull this over just a little bit, just like that. Make sure that it is where I want it to be, just like so. All right, so now we're taking this to the back side, and I'm only going to put glue just on the top part of it because you don't want it to, um, well, never mind. <laughs> I took you what? Okay. No, because you don't want the whole thing to be to be glued to the back of it. Um because you want it to be able to be free to move some. So I probably there, no. There. So see how that is? So you can see that it you don't see what I mean where you don't want it to be glued all the way to the back because you want that that uh tinty look. So there we go. So that is the base of it, and it is slightly crooked. But I think it's going to be just fine. Okay. So like I said, this is the inside piece. You can stamp your sentiment. You can decorate it any way you want to. I never thought about how I wanted to decorate it. So we are probably just going to insert that right in there. You want to make sure that you have it going in the right direction. Um, because, because it is one side is longer than the other. It looks square, but it's not. So I am going to use my my um, seal for this. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here. You know what I did um, yesterday? I did it for the very first time. I have heard of other people have torn their cardstock using this. And I thought, well, how in the world did they do that? Thank you so much for the thumbs up. That also reminds me. Please share the video. That really helps me out a lot. Your comments and your interactions, that helps extremely. And um, I love to see your comments as well. And uh, thumbs up. That helps too. Okay. What was I saying? Oh, well, I did it finally the uh, yesterday. It got, I guess it got caught on the edge of my cardstock where maybe I had like maybe a a little fray or something from the paper trimmer because my blade is very very dull and I keep sharpening it and I keep forgetting to order a new one and you know what I forgot to do guys I forgot to emboss this part right here I wanted to emboss that so this is going to be saved for something else because I'm not even going to try to pull all that apart <laughs> That tells you right there that I cannot multitask. I cannot talk and carry on a conversation and and work at the same time. At least not anything that, there's a little net around here, not anything that um, requires my concentration. That is just not going to happen. So we're going to cut this at four and a quarter. So if you're watching and you're not quite sure how to cut your paper in half, well, to make this, I just showed you how you cut it long ways and you get this you get this style so you can make this I don't want to fold it because this card doesn't get completely folded in half but I was gonna see if I could um, I don't think I have one handy darn it I normally have one I don't have one handy so anyway it's one where it opens up this way so so you would cut it at four at four and a quarter. So it would be four and a quarter by 11. Okay, 
Now we got to score it again. So let's move our blade up there. We're going to score this at once. I'm going to stop jibber jabbering you guys so that we can hurry up and get caught up um, where we need to be and um, where I can not mess up again. <laughs> I think that everybody that watches me new thinks that I mess up all the time. And I do. <laughs> and it's okay. Because that just means that I am not a machine, that I am a real life human being that messes up and it is okay because it is only paper and it's just too much fun just to get angry about or upset over. Okay, so we're going to fold this again, make that mountain fold like so, then we're going to fold up on that, I'm going to go ahead and burnish that, then we're going to fold down because we're making our step part of the card. There we go. And then I'm going to do this up here. There we go. And now we need to cut another piece of that. So I'm going to use the other half of that cardstock. No, I'm not. I'm going to bring this in right here. And then all I have to do is cut two and a half because I know it's already at eight and a half inches long. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to turn around and we're going to score this at three inches. And you know what? By me messing up like that, we just went over all that again, so that's good. Okay, then we're going to fold that back. We're going to give that a burnishing like so. And before we do anything else, um, let's see. I am using this Painted Posies. I started putting everything back in these plastic socks, but you know what? Plastic socks. <laughs> plastic bags. <laughs> could you emboss a separate piece and glue it to it? I probably could have, Carol. It probably could have very well done that. And it just would have been doubled. But you know what? It's okay. <laughs> All right. So now I am just going to emboss this part of it. So I'm going to stick this down into this embossing folder and I want as much of this to come up as I can. Let's see, so, so that you guys can see here. I want as much of this to be as high up on my piece of cardstock as I can get it without cutting off too much of the bottom. But since an inch of the bottom is going to get covered up anyway, it really doesn't matter if I go all the way almost up, but I'm not going to go all the way. So I'm just going to do it to right about there. And I think, when, I'm going to flip this over. Yeah, I think that's going to be really pretty. All right, so we are going to put that in there. I'll be right back. I'm going to turn around over here. I would bring all of this over there, but I'm probably going to shake the whole table by doing so, but I guess I could. Here we go. And I also think that it might be too close to the camera because I can't seem to get my camera to go lower, and I don't know why. So ordinarily, you're supposed to put this in with the spine of your embossing, the spine of your embossing, the spine of your embossing folder this way, but my cardstock is hanging over, so I'm just going to put it in sideways. And then all I've got is my um, base plate and my four plate, I think, is all I needed on there. Because this is a 3D embossing folder. So let's see if we can get that through there like a charm. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. We don't need all of this. So I do know one thing that I have learned because my little room, studio, whatever, is going to get moved again. Not quite sure when, but it is. And since it's been, this is twice now, um, I finally know what I want, where I want. How do you get a new embossing machine? Oh, easy. You could go to my online store tinacarini.stampinup.net and in there I can even give you the item number Miss Lynette 
you can go in there and go to the back where the cut and embossing um, goodies are. And there it is right here. It's on page 153. So there is the stamp and cut and emboss machine with the item number 149653. Or you can do the mini one too. But if you're going to do this as a hobby, I recommend, um, I or business or what have you, I recommend getting the larger one because then you have no limitations. The littler one is more budget friendly, but you have limitations. Um, there are certain dies that won't go through there. Um, that's just my per personal preference. Let me stop and think here. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, so we're ready to glue this down. So let me show you. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is the Painted Posies 3D embossing folder. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue back here on here just like so um it's great to have to travel with the little one you know and especially um if you have kids that you still take to ball games and stuff which i do not um but if you get to go to your grand your grandchildren's games and dances and such like that um Oh, you asked me, did I get a new machine? Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. I'm sorry, Lynette. I thought you asked me, how do you get one? I thought it was a little bit of a strange question, but um, that's my cousin, you guys. So, yeah, we razz on each other all the time. She's one of my biggest supporters. Okay, here we go. We're going to put that right down there on the back, just like we did before. Just put a little bit of glue, about a half inch or so. Use your tear and tape. You can use Steel Plus. All right, there we go. We're back to this, but now we have this beautiful embossed piece. So I'm going to take these two strips of designer series paper. These are one inch by four and a quarter, and they are going to go right here. I'm just going to tuck those down. Um, did I cut these? these? These better not. These might not be four and a quarter. Oh, yeah, they are. No, they're not. These are the wrong one. Okay. I don't want to. Well, that's what I get for not putting them in a little clear, in, in an envelope, and then or in a clear envelope. That is exactly what I did. I told myself to do that, too. I said, self, you need to do that. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about it because you're not going to really see it. And um, I think it's good. I think it's going to be fine. And actually, it works out perfectly. Okay. So we're going to glue these. And you could probably put these on before you put all the other hoopla on there. And it would be a whole lot easier, um, honestly. But I was chatting away and not paying attention to what I was doing again. So I'm just going to stick that right in there like so. I'm using my liquid glue because that gives me wiggle room, especially when I do something kind of silly like this and forget to, to do this so I can actually see what I'm doing. So that's on there. That looks pretty good. So I've left myself a border around the top and the side. And then we're going to do the same thing to this piece here. Sometimes I think that I should do just a plain um, tutorial on something like this um, and post it on YouTube. Uh, hey, Kim! Because... It will, oh, and you want to make sure that when you have um, paper that has the same direction, go in directional, you want to make sure that you put it on going in the right direction so that it's not upside down. I almost just did that. Did you guys catch that? <laughs> but I almost did. All right, there we go. So that's that. 
So we're, we've got that down so far. So now we're just going to do the bottom part here. So this is the part on this card. I actually use, y'all please don't judge, I use some retired, recently retired. <laughs> it has been recent, um, recent retired um, ribbon. This was part of the in colors. I think it actually carried. Uh, yes, it is, Carol. Can I show it to you guys? I absolutely love this. I've been wanting this and wanting it and wanting it. But, you know, my little budget, it just cannot afford some of the stuff that I want. So when this went on sale, I nabbed it. So this is the, what's it called again? I never can remember. Something delightfully eclectic. So I actually didn't think that this was, I didn't really like that this is like one of the only ones that I wasn't sure of in the catalog when it showed the pictures of them. But in person, I absolutely love this and I cannot wait to do a card with this, which I'm surprised I haven't yet, but I'm going to. And then this is the one that we're using tonight. But look at the back with the XOs and the XOs. And you know, as I was flipping through this paper, I realized that this paper would coordinate very nicely with the wink, wink, ink and tiled um stamp set but mostly the punches especially the one punch and you'll see why here because you have you have that right here so that kind of looks like the punch but it's so that's going to be really cool and this isn't this fun oh this is the back to that one so so cute and then i love these little flowers and i think that this one would go really well with darling details so that, that's fun and i love the back of that oh i just love it and then we have these hearts so it's got the heart and um wait till you guys see you got to follow me all the way to the end you're going to see a card i use this paper i think you're gonna love it okay and then we have the stripes love 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 the stripes and then there's this one isn't this so pretty and i think you could even pull this off with lasting joy so the stamp set lasting joy. So we've got that. So those are the ones that I've been that I have played with. Let me see here because I know there's a whole bunch more in here. That oh look at the pretzels. Aren't the pretzels so cute? Do you know which stamp set this would be absolutely adorable with? And that would be the Zany Zoo. Oh yes, it would be because with the pretzels and a zoo, a circus, and all that kind of good stuff. Yep. And then here is um, the pretty stripes on the back. And we got four of those. So you get four each of um, the designs. And look, see right here, this is what I was talking about. I just think that that would go so beautifully with that punch from Ink and Tiled. Okay, the bundle thing. And then I love this paper on the back. See if you can see that. And I'm trying to go through this very quickly. The daisies, oh, they're just so cute. I love them. And then the lemons in the little pink stripes is the back side. And then this is really cool too. Love the back of this paper. This paper would make a great masculine card. And then isn't this gorgeous? I'm really looking forward to playing with this one too. And then we have this one. This one would make a great masculine card, too. And then the strawberries. Look at the strawberries. Hey, you guys, if any of you still have um, the Strawberry Builder Punch or the Strawberry and the Strawberry um, Stamp Set, I don't remember the name of it now. This would be a great paper that you could use with that. Very awesome. It retired. But, oh, here's the, here's the, so cute. And then there's those papers again. Oh, and then there is this one. Oh, I love that one too. Oh, and then that's the back of that. So cool. I love this paper. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So let's move on. Um, Where was I? Okay, so we were here. I'm starting to lose my voice. Okay, so I thought since I used the retired ribbon, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to do that. 
or not on the live because, you know, you guys might really like the ribbon and want the ribbon and you can't get it. So unless it happens to be on the clearance rack, but I haven't looked at the clearance rack, so I don't know. But you can always pop in on there. You never know. It might one day. Um, let's see. So you can do it with, uh, we can put that on there. Just a piece of card cardstock in the Fresh Freesia. Oh, Kim, it, um, you know what? It, you're here. That's what that's what's important and that's what matters. Or we can do um, designer series paper that matches that. But I personally don't like that because I think it's a little much. What do you guys think? I was thinking what we could do, and let me show you this, because this is just kind of a little plain. So what we could do is we could either pull the crushed curry in here, and let me show you. You know what? Let's finish it. So then, well, here, you can look at this, because when we finish this, um, we use this back of this taper um, as a banner, so that had the crushed curry in it. So we can pull that in and use the crushed curry. And you probably, I need to just go ahead and finish it because you're not going to be able to really get a good eye for it until you see all the colors together. Or we can take some night of navy strip and go across there too. So will you guys think about that and let me know what you think. And when you finish the card, you might, card, um, you might want to change your mind. But for right now, this we need. Okay. We're going to bring in the good feeling stamp set. Absolutely love this. This is great for sentiment focal points so where you don't have a whole lot to, um, going on on your card and you can just really use that as a focal point. Or you can, like this, this card's got a whole lot going on and it just adds to the whole lot going on. <laughs> All right, so I am going to block this up. I'm sorry if I get my head in there, just like that. Now, I brought in Misty Moonlight, but the card, it's really like Night and Navy, I think. But I was just going to see how I like the Misty Moonlight because the Misty Moonlight, I got one little spot there that's not wanting to catch some ink. Um, the Misty Moonlight is pretty dark too, or at least mine is when I when I stamp like this. The sentiment. <laughs> uh, um, which one do we like? You know, I think I do like this because that almost looks black. Okay, so of course that's my eyes. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't, but. I think it does. You like the DS? You do like the DSP on the bottom down here, like that? Okay. Well, we'll punch this out, and we got that. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna flag this. I'm gonna make some little what do you call it? Um, fish tails. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting up a little bit up the center, um, eyeballing where the center is. And most of the time, I don't get the center. <laughs> anyway, and then I'm going to go from corner to the top of where I cut it at, just like so. And it's always easier for me just to flip it over. Every time I don't flip it over, I really mess it up. I don't know why that is. But now watch me mess it up because I said that. That's fine. Okay. So my glasses are slipping down my nose. I have to stop and push them up. I tell you, I really am disappointed with these glasses. I really thought I'd really like them. And they're like a real pretty, pretty blue. But in pictures and on camera, and they look black. And I'm like, ah. Not at all what I wanted. That's all right. Okay. So, like I said, I'm just 
grateful. What one am I doing? Almost glued that down to the wrong side. I'm just going to glue this um, right onto that piece of designer series paper. Hopefully I can get this right where I need it. Good to go. Then I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. <laughs> I hope, I really do hope that you guys aren't thinking that I'm absolutely off my rocker and that you guys are having a good time and laughing at me, laughing with me at myself. <laughs> so I'm just taking these little backings off here. I'm just kind of throwing them, you know, just. Tossing them. Woo. All right. So, and I don't know why I did that because I just swept this area not not too long ago. Just like, I don't know. What time is it? I'll tell you. About an hour and a half ago. Okay. So, I'm just going to stick that right on there. Just like that. I think it can come over this way a little bit more. I'm not pushing down so that I can move it around. I think that looks good. All right. So there, so now that's got that. So we can either do this across there like so. Let me bring it back up. Um, Carol, I will, um, my dad is a long story. Um, the rest of my family is absolutely fantastic. Um, you know what, if I, I probably won't be able to tonight but I will try to tomorrow. Um, I'll private message you and I'll, I'll fill you in with some of the stuff that's been going on. Okay, so we've got this right here. We can put that across there. You guys let me know which one you like. Carol says she likes the, the DSP, the designer series paper. Um, let's see what, what, what the rest of y'all like. And then we have the yellow banner on there like so or we can do the blue banner across there so just like so or we can put the designer series paper we'll just move that completely and then we'll just put this right down there on there like so so which one do you guys like carol i got one for the designer series paper um, let me scroll up here to make sure I didn't, Carol, you could do live. I just wanted to make sure I haven't, um, oh, bless your heart. You have cataracts. Oh, I have such a huge fear of getting those. Are you going to be able to have some surgery for that, Carol? Okay, you guys are being slow on telling me which one you like. So, we will put the design series paper on here. Okay, so let me cut that. So, we've got four and a quarter is the width of that card. So, I'm going to cut this down to four and a quarter. And, I'm oh, sorry. I probably should have called you all slow because sometimes, you know, the computer is really slow too. That, that what do they call it, that lag time. But anyway, okay. Y'all know I love you. You know, I'm just joking around. Okay, here we go. So I am going to put that on there. Some glue. Put some glue on there. Did y'all see that or was it out of camera too? <laughs> oh, I tell you. Did I get that on there right? I did. It's it's close enough. Okay. Now, what am I missing? I feel like it's missing something. Let's put some let's put some sparkle on there. So these are what are these? The tinsel gems. <gasps> if you guys haven't seen these in person, oh my goodness. In the catalog, I thought, yeah, these are pretty. Maybe I'll get some of those. Those are kind of pretty. I like colors. So I thought, okay. So, I went, well, oh, shoot, it stuck to the back. 
So when I got these, you guys, let me see if I can't find something that is going to, I don't know, um, if I can hold them up. You can't see the tinsel that's inside them. The, even the camera does not do them justice. Maybe a little bit. These things are so pretty. I was like, oh, they're beautiful. They go, call me crazy. Ooh and on over embellishment. <laughs> oh, well, Carol, we could put the ribbon. We could. Do you guys think, well, let's, you think that's too much or you, um, or what, you guys? Let me see here. Show a hand. Here's one that's already cut. Let's do this. So, show a hand. <laughs> like I can see your hands, right? Oh, there used to be a, there used to be a button, didn't there? Um, where you can, where you can wave your hand. They changed it. They changed Facebook so much. So let's see. We can just tie this on there. I can't even hardly find my way around on Facebook anymore. They changed it too much for me. All right. But I kind of have to. kind of have to learn it. Who says you can't treat? Um, who says you can't? Train old dogs new tricks. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Because I can learn. <laughs> All right. I am, I think now, trying to think of how I want to tie this bow. Oh my goodness, you guys here, Kyber? Oh, I think they named him the wrong name. Um, I think he needs my son and his fiance. I think they need to name Kyber should have been named Dennis, as in Dennis the Menace. <laughs> okay, you guys, it just took me a half hour to tie a stinking bow. <laughs> All right, so, and it's not the prettiest bow I've ever done. Matter of fact, I don't really like it at all. But I think it wants to go upside down. <laughs> Let's use a glue dot. I have more success with that. Okay, than those tweezers. Which, hey, I did find those tweezers. Remember, a while back ago, I couldn't find them. Well, I found them. I don't really like them. I don't like using them. I like using good old glue dots. Let's just get this on here. I think I got it twisted underneath. My glasses are slipping down. Oh, and you know the other thing that my glasses do? They make my eyes sweat. Isn't that the weirdest thing? They make my eyes sweat. <laughs> like, all around my eyes, they just start sweating. It's like... Ugh, I just don't like them. All right. Are you guys still with me? Oh, there's the hand. Um, you guys still with me? Let's see here. I still tied it upside down. Let's see if I can... Twist this around. There we go. There we go. We got us a bow. I'm just trying to tighten it up and move this down and round. I think I'm going to leave it alone. Get my river scissors. Give that a trim. And there we go. We got us. We got us a bow on there. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put some of these on there because I just think that they're just too pretty not to. Um, and I don't, not even sure if this is, I think this is bubble gum, not bubble gum, bubble bath. Oh, but I think that it just is, goes so nicely 
with this. What's wrong, Kyber? Hey, Dennis. I think I'm going to put this one right up there. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? Look, I, I'm pretty sure those are, um, which doesn't say on here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's bubble bath. But look how pretty they go with the fresh freesia. So beautiful. Gosh, I just, I love Stampin' Up! so much. They just make it so easy for us. I tell you, they do. Okay, so then you just open this little card up like that. And I didn't put the inside in there, did I? And then, which I don't even know what I did with the inside, which I probably used it and punched on, didn't I? I, I did have two, one to punch and, and um, one to put on the inside. Oh, no. It's on this one. It's on the other card. That's where it is. Okay. So what do you guys think? Let me show you. I don't know which one to show you first. Okay. So here's one here. We did this one. I did this one too. So I made like a little window box on there. Isn't that pretty? And this is sweet sorbet, but it looks like, I don't know what. It looks like neon orange. But it's really sweet sorbet and um, petal pink and old olive. Um, I used the meadow dyes and cut these things out. These I trimmed off of another flower from the same dyes. I just trimmed that off. I used uh, the butterfly out of there. Some linen thread wrapped it around the um, the window of this the Petal pink designer series, designer series paper, petal pink cardstock, wrapped it around that, tied a bow. I did some, see if you guys can see it, I did some splatter with the Wink of Stella. You can see a little bit of glitter. I didn't necessarily want it all over the card, but um, I just kind of wanted it on the background. But I didn't think about it until after I put the whole card together. So... Um, oh, Carol, you do? You love that? Yeah, it does look pretty. It looks prettier than I thought it would. It really does. I really like it, too. Um, and then I put some, what do you call them, iridescent pearls in there. And I embossed with the posy, and painted posy embossing folder on the back. So, do you guys like that? I love that one. I thought it was so pretty. And then this is the one where I used the hearts designer series paper and I thought it went so well with the sentiment from good feelings you're on my heart you're on my mind and my heart I thought oh my gosh yes we just have to do that so this card right here sneak 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 sneaky peeky is going to be in my um, in-person class we're going to make this card so and then I just used one of the hearts dies and um Honestly, you guys, I don't, it's from the, um, a really, really old retired set because I don't have any current dies that have hearts in them, but I know that there's a couple of them that do. Um, I think Give It a Whirl does, and I know there's another one that does, and I can't think of the name of it. So, um, so yeah, so you can get the dies from there. Um, this pretty peacock strip here. Then we use the the um, stripes in that designer series pack. Delightfully eclectic. Stamped, you're on my heart and mind. Now, if you have the fancy dies that cut shapes and stuff, you um, that you have one that's big enough. I have some. They're just not big enough for the sentiment. But if you do, you could step it up a notch by even doing that. And then we use one of those beautiful little... Um, gems on there the tinsel gems on the hearts and so what do you guys think i had so much fun making these cards they're super super easy i'm sure i made it look very difficult because i wasn't paying attention to what i was doing and i was yucking away um but they really are easy there's i put the measurements in the description of this video so when i post this video um it should be there i don't think that it's show do they show it now or not? I don't know. 
Um, oh, I don't even see my live. Am I live still? Oh, there we go. Um, let me turn this down. down. Um, no, it's not in the description yet. Or is it? Oh, wait, what's that? Let me see here. So here we go. So we can do this. No, it won't let me click on it. It might let you guys click on it, but it doesn't mind. Where I'm at right now, it's not it's somewhere different on my big computer. So, um, okay. So, yeah, so that is it. So, you guys, please don't forget to share this video, even if you're watching the replay. Thank you so very much for watching the replay. And I hope that you really enjoyed this and really enjoyed my um I hope that I was some great entertainment for you tonight. I really do have a lot of fun um, doing this in um, saying um a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to flip up here, except for, let's see, um, did that do it? Uh, no, there we go. And we're going to go here. There, we did it. All right, so. I had a great time with you guys. I always do. I love sharing with you guys, and I hope I hope that it is um, good for you guys, too. I hope that you really get inspired and in, uh, all that good stuff and that you can laugh and just relax and, and, and just not even think about the stresses of the day. Uh, it's so much fun. And thank you so much for sharing just a little bit of your time with me. I so much appreciate that. And I, oh, I will not be live next Thursday night. Um, I have my evening class is next Thursday night. So I'm, e I'm not, I haven't decided yet. I'm either going to go live uh, in the afternoon around noonish, um, or I may go live on Monday. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to go live in the afternoon on Thursday, but um, I'm not sure. And then the following week after that, we will be out of town. We're gonna go see my youngest granddaughter, um, celebrate her very first birthday, yay Zo. So um, she's, gonna, she's gonna be one, <laughs> and we're gonna go spend a little bit of time up there. Not, not long, we're not gonna be there long at all. I don't even think we're gonna be there a week. Um, so that will be really, really fun. And wait, 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 wait. I definitely will not be able to do my live on this coming Monday. It will be, I will do my live Thursday afternoon instead of Thursday evening. And then the next week I will not be here. I'll be out of town. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do my live. Because, no. I, I might be through Tuesday. The week after that will be Tuesday, probably Tuesday, because I won't be able to do it Monday because I will probably be driving home from Kentucky. So, but if I'm here, I know I'm confusing you guys because we got two little trips going on. We've got one where we're making a fast trip, driving up to Kentucky and turning around, driving back. And I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag yet. I'll tell you guys about it and I'll post a picture. Um, and then let's see. And then we're going, then we have to turn around and go to New Jersey. So yeah, that week, that was going to be tough for me. I may be able to do it Tuesday. So hopefully I'll do it Tuesday that week. So we're talking about, let's see, what's the date? So you guys will know. So on the 20th, we'll do it at noon. And then we'll probably be able to do it on the 25th. I fly out on the 26th. I'll be driving the highway on 24th, 23rd or the 24th. Depending on when we get back from Kentucky will be if I do it Monday or Tuesday. So I will post it. I'll let you guys know. So just, just, um, just keep an eye out for that post. And also, if you're not on my newsletter list, um, get on that because then you can um, you can get all the – you don't have to, to worry about whether or not Facebook is going to um, be kind 
and give you a notification. So you'll be in my newsletter and I can, I always give, I've been starting to give reminders because I realized that Facebook's not always that kind. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. I have taken enough of your time. I have, I have, I'm going to go. I just have so much fun with you guys and I just love stamping. So I'm going to let you go. And until next time, next week, and I can't say same time, same place, because it's not the same time. But it's the same place. I'll see you later. Diddly-doo. Bye, y'all.